All right. If you can hear me, type one, two, three, four, five. Hello, everybody. Let's see if that dungeons command works. Okay, sweet, it does. All right, let's get started. Dungeons launches today, new B patch. Oh, let's see if it's good. How was the gym? Uh, it was fine. It's really hot outside. Oh. And he sat in the car while I picked up food. And then I got food. And then I opened the door. And I immediately hear like a really loud scream. Turns out I went into the wrong car. That's like something that you do when you're like six years old. I went to this car that like looked like Annie's car and the the person in the car looked like Annie. And I get in and I hear a scream, I'm like, what? And then I look up and oh, it's not Annie. Hi Boxbox, I just started university and moved into a dorm. Do you have any advice? Uh, I actually didn't go to university. If I, if I had any advice for someone going to university, uh, consider winning the lottery. I mean, you don't really have to be in university to do that. But like, if, if you want some immediate advice on how to improve your life, I would recommend winning the lottery. Were there any buffs in the B patch? Uh, I don't think so. Let's look over the patch notes really quick. I think it was like all nerfs. I read over it yesterday. But like it's good. Nerfs to like the strongest builds. I think some of them were like weren't nerfed enough. But like at least they're getting nerfed. Uh treasure armory disabled, flexible got nerfed, high horsepower got nerfed, molten carryball got nerfed, three portal got nerfed. A bit of a shame. Uh Vanguard 4 nerfed. Pyro 5 got nerfed. Ari nerfed. I feel like Ari is actually still good. Um, now they got nerfed by 580, which is kind of a lot, because it, that actually, like, snowballs when she, like, stars up. Uh, Fiora nerfed, and Nasus nerfed. They're, like, pretty gentle nerfs. I feel like metal will mostly be the same. Hello, Minklet. But I hope that other units will actually be able to shine now. Oh, I like all of these. How do you like this, how do you like this set so far? It's a good set. The balance has been frustrating, but like the the design is good. No one expects the banana. Uh, okay. Beans, just leave magic yeah, I feel like if I get an opening for Ari, I might actually still play it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So funny, like magic Crap, I was not supposed to hold Here goes everything. the Syndra. Magic goes in, might comes out. Well, 
lot of Kog'Maw's. Okay, so they did just nerf Portal, I lend my aid. but I could play it here. <laughs> Wait, just a tier? As you level, gain more powerful items. I'm kind of down for Spoils of War. Try to play a really aggro board. Magic goes in, might comes out. Oh yeah! I need to like face a kind of weak player. This guy is not weak. Okay, can I at least like kill one unit and get a little bit of money? Spoils of War Prismatic. I'm kind of banking on people playing weak early game builds. Oh, money. Why are you wet? I just took a shower. I went to the gym with Annie today. Oh wow, I printed three gold this round. Oh my god, I almost won. I lend my aid. Okay, definitely level. I do have portal, but I don't think it's worth playing if it just got nerfed. Just probably play the two-star poppy. Uh, okay. I'm definitely looking at some sort of mage angle. So we're never playing Zoe, I believe. Probably gonna play more, this Mordekaiser. Okay, so spoils of war. I'm like banking on everybody playing weak boards, and I'm just gonna try to snowball really hard off of it. Forty percent chance of getting gold. I feel like I've high rolled really hard. I've gotten so much money. I think I've gotten six gold already from killing like seven units. I'm definitely high rolling. Okay, I guess we're just gonna play like ultra high tempo spoils a war game. Uh, hard commit portal, wandering trainer, chrono mage. Ooh, that's actually really strong. Uh, living forge, march of progress. Probably reroll warriors. Radiant relics. I feel like this is weak. Uh, buried treasures and prismatic ticket. This guy's probably rolling Ari. Okay, I think I'm gonna find spot to try to tempo. What's our current LP? Uh, 500. I've dropped a lot. No, please give me money. Give me money. Dang it. If I got one more gold, I could have kept the Mordekaiser. What's our augment? Spoils of War. I don't normally take this. But I saw that everybody was taking really weak early game augments. So I felt like it was viable here. I have a tier which is pretty easy to play off of. Okay, I say it's easy, but... Uh, I'm last pick. Okay. Immediately everything that was good for me is gone. Hello, Aldrico. Thanks for the 14 months. Uh, I think I slam Shojin just to like stay alive, or just like keep tempoing.
This guy's kind of strong. Okay. I could level. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I lend my aid. Make sure we get the streak. Four streak with spoils of war while printing money is kind of huge. Okay, we'll just tempo. Shojin's flexible. Not really abyss on anybody, but. The fact that I can just like throw it on whoever is nice. Oh, I forgot one more gold. One, two, three, four. Who's a good boy? I am. Definitely not playing shapeshifters. Suffering is magic. All right, mostly worried about this matchup. Guy's got an early Fiora. Oh, thank God. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I print three gold here. Okay, three gold's kind of rare. Oh wait, what? A chest? Wow, that's huge actually. What the heck? On stage two? Wait, I hit you. Wait, is there like a loot table for uh, Spoils of War? Let me look it up. No, there isn't. I'd be curious to see like the rewards. Who wants a piece of this? Wait, this is actually huge. Getting an early like Vex 2 or something. Okay, I'm just gonna try to like flex to 9. Mm. Alright, best thing I can get here is probably like a Shiv. Okay, down for any rod item really. I think almost every single item is playable here. Okay, Morello's is good. Morello's is probably the most consistent item I can slam here. The magic within you. Yeah, basically like every item I can make here is good. I'm just gonna dupe this vex now for tempo. This place is so getting harrowed. Yeah, Morello's and then play off tier. Okay, looking pretty solid. Having an early Vex too. And pretty re reasonable items. If I can get a bow later. Oh fuck, did I lose this? This guy's level 6 with 50 gold. Surely I don't lose with a 2 star Vex, right? Oh my god, I think I do lose. Damn, this is post nerf Nyla. Damn, I got owned. Lucky gloves. It's pretty good flex play, but. Uh, the problem I have with lucky gloves is that I don't have a single glove right now. Taking buried treasures, if I can finish it without losing a lot of power, it's really strong. Uh, I don't think I can take lucky gloves though. Oh, mage crown? Uh, I'm definitely down. We can commit to mages.
Moppy. Okay, um, the best mage spat holder is Mordekaiser. Okay, I, I like the mage spat. The reason why I don't like the buried treasures is because like for five or six rounds, I'm just playing such a weak board. I'm not gonna be able to capitalize off of Spoils of War at all. Oh wait, what the hell? There's a Vega on my shop. I didn't even realize. I'm blind, how did I not notice that? I complete. He was in my shop the whole time. I didn't even notice. Who you calling little? Um, I could just reroll Vagar. I believe I'm uncontested. I'll scout in a sec. Sucks I had to sell a Mordekaiser. Yeah, something like that. Alright, Warriors, Golden Ticket. Oh, I think this guy's rerolling Vagar. Oh, this guy went Mage Crown. Okay, I'm definitely not rerolling. I'm definitely playing Tempo. Oh, this guy's also rerolling Vagar. Okay, I'm definitely not rerolling Vagar. I need to just go 9 and then do like uh, Mage Zerath or something. Mage Zerath should pop off pretty hard. Oh, hey, a glove. Ooh, flashbacks to that moment I, I didn't take Lucky Gloves. So cool. That's fine. Uh, I no longer need a Shiv. TG is good. Adaptive is good. Almost every item here is good. I think the only one that's not good is Sword. Not even Sword's pretty good. Actually, Bow is like the one item that's not useful. If I can, I want the Nami. Oh. Okay, I'll take a cloak. Adaptive should be very reasonable here. Mize could work. Oh yeah, Mize could actually be interesting. Mage Rise. Alright, time to level up. Uh, I'm down to roll once and see if I can hit... I don't know, something crazy. One roll! Well, now I want to roll again. I'm sitting on a lot of pairs. I eat magic. I want to hold that Terra key seemed kind of interesting. It was really nice though. Spoils of War as like a counterplay to people who are doing like really uh, weak early boards. It's really satisfying. Uh, I feel like I'm still down to roll a couple times. There's a lot of things I could hit. No, I, I shouldn't. I think I'm very likely to win anyway. Yeah, I should just chill. Yeah, if I, if I roll, I could hit a one-star Nami, a Miracle Legendary, or just a Vagar 2, but like... I think my board wins anyway, so why risk it? Why is Adaptive a generally good AP item versus Gwyn's who's on Rise or Rabadon's? Uh, Adaptive gives AP and mana, and like, no AD. Whereas, um, Shojin gives AP, mana, and AD, but like, it gives less AP and mana because it has to give some AD. Uh, Gwyn's who's is just like a lot of attack speed and not that much mana, or not that much, uh... AP. So like, Gwinsu's tends to be pretty bad unless like the user really scales off of attack speed. Which most people who uh, you're thinking of probably don't benefit from. Okay, I'm just gonna send it to 8, try to get a stable board, and then go 9. Mench? Mage Kench. Alright, we're gonna send it. Let's try to get to 5 Mage, 4 Vanguard, and then just sit on that till 9. 
At 9, you can start to play more interesting things. I believe the main unit I want is uh, Zerath. But I think a lot of units could work. Mage Rise could be interesting. Uh, you get Portal with Nora. Uh, even Mage Taric, maybe. And then Hecarim could be someone worth holding on to for a bit. Uh, Alright, I'll just do this for now. Mage Kench stuns twice. Oh, but I don't want to sell the Kench. I guess I have a remover. I'm slapping on Ari so I can like have freedom of what to do with that unit. Um, I need to figure out exactly what I'm going to do here. It's crazy that I still won this fight. Uh, I think I need to roll a little bit deeper. I shouldn't be playing a Stalker at this point in the game. Power changes everyone. I never hold back. Okay. Nico back in her Nico scan. The answer lies within. Power changes everyone. <laughs> There's beauty in even the smallest moments. I definitely have to keep rolling. I, I, it feels bad. It's like, oh, you have so much issue. Why not save to nine? But like, if I can't kill units, I'm not gonna print with Spoils of War. I need to like roll until I get something playable, like a Rise Two. Mm, probably not. Probably not going at this point. I can hold her in case I randomly hit. Three sounds unlikely. I mean, I'm level eight. It is contested, but I have a dupe, so like, I, I think Galley Three is actually possible and worth holding on to because I'm most likely donkey rolling every round here. Uh, I need to figure out what to get rid of here because I want to play Taric for Bastion Portal. <laughs> is Mage Melia better than Rise? I I'm thinking about it, but I if I hit Rise too, I definitely want to play Rise. Surprisingly, oh fuck, someone else is playing Mage Rise. Also, Galio is hella contested. I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this guy's got so many Galios, what the hell? Oh, what the fuck? I'm still on Hecarim's Arcana. I'm trolling. Who wants a piece of this? Come on. Beauty and life.
No, dude. It's all pairs. It's all pairs. You skipped a rise. There's a 0% chance I skipped a rise. I guarantee you if I actually skipped a rise, everybody in chat would be screaming. Also, it, like, a rise would light up a lot because it'd be an upgrade. Hello, Nika. Thanks for the nine months. It's crazy that this board's like kind of functional. It's one of those like imagine if I had an upgrade situations. Okay, I'm gonna roll until I hit one two star unit, and then I can maybe sit. Oh, I skipped so many Gwens. Curse me for playing contested units, man. Curse me for playing contested units. I'm just sitting here donkey rolling. This is actually very frustrating. Every, every unit I need, I'm at two out of three of for all the big units. But then I can't actually play them because I'm contested by like four players. But I can't actually go nine because if I sack like five rounds, I'm just dead. Because going nine isn't actually strong enough unless you can do it healthy and with a lot of money. You have to like do it on a good board on level eight. But I can't achieve that because five players are contesting me. Why do you choose mage spec for scouting? I did scout. I knew it was contested. I definitely still have to play it though. You're playing Spoils of War. You're throwing the game if you don't take mage spec. Did you want me to take Boiled Treasures and then lose the game on the spot? Or did you want me to take the angle that spikes me for now, and then like I just have to play into the contested line? Right? Like, I don't want to play the contested line. I'm literally dead if I don't. As a result, like, despite donkey rolling with the most money out of everybody in the lobby, I've hit zero upgrades. It's incredibly frustrating. All I can do is just keep donkey rolling and trying. I never hold back. Rubbing my head. What? 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 But yeah, all I can do is just like try to save HP now by playing like by donkey rolling for upgrades. All the other mage players will probably not hit either. I can at least outplace them. If there's one thing I have on them, it's an HP lead. Mm. I no longer need Tarek. Uh, I need a Xerath. That's what I need. Two tickets to the gem show. Uh, how do I want to do this? Saw Hecarim. I could also just like dupe the three cost and sold it. Okay. Hopefully this can get me a fourth. I'm just gonna roll for charm every single round. We are too contested. Um, the four portal is kind of awkward, but like, there's no way I'm selling a Tarek two at this point. If anything, I want to augment the Tarek two by putting in a Diana or something. Oh wait, no, I actually, I think the answer is Hecarim. It, it's probably Hecarim over um, Rise actually. Like, one star rise isn't doing much for me anyway. Okay. Uh, let me let me think about this. So you can drop rise and Melio for a Hecarim uh, plus Zerath, and that'd be like a really good end game board. 
And you can still roll for that on eight, which is really nice. Also, I'm kind of trolling by... It's hard. You can't really move your clump, so aiming shroud straight down the middle is not bad. I'm not sure, like, what else to do. Is Nami or is Yurat the carry? Uh, Nami is never the carry. She doesn't do enough damage. She just, like, applies CC. And that's mostly it. But, like, Xerath can be the one who actually like, finishes people off. Rise 2 is supposed to be the one who finishes people off here, but as you can see, like, I didn't hit a Rise 2. It's okay. Just live to a top 4. I mean, everyone's pretty low. Like, it could even be a top 3. You can play Ari instead of Rise. I mean, Ari 2 is weaker than Rise 1. So I'm, I'm definitely not playing that. Uh, just any tank item. TG, Redemption, even Sterics maybe. Best case is TG. Okay, if I can get a Xerath 1, I think I can play the game. Also, like, I probably won't wait for it, but if one of the Rise players dies, I can probably go for it. Okay, I'm gonna see if one of the Rise players dies here. This is so fun. Okay, two lives still. Okay. I'm pretty sure one of the Rise players just died. If I hit, I'll play it. All right, let's do it. Is it better? I'm not sure, but here's Mage Milio. The idea here is Mage Melee will print items for Nora and for everybody else, and like, I get Vanguard. Like, the synergies work out a little bit better this way. Uh, and then I should have swap out Melio for Xerath if I can find one. And it's still gonna lose, but maybe I can lose slower. Yeah, I mean, honestly, this wasn't bad. I killed a few. Alright. I just have to outplace one of these guys. Also, this dupe is definitely, like, not useful. I should just dupe something and then... Yeah, I'll, I'll just dupe for Econ. There's no more three cost to upgrade. Uh, okay. So, yeah, the Wincon, find a Kench, or two Rises, or a Xerath, and then just try to outlive one of these guys. Hello, Dova... Dova Cat. Thanks for the 19 months. Uh, congratulations on Plat. I'm proud of you. Isn't me this cast time too slow? I mean, it's a big deal, though. It gives items to everybody else. Like, again, this isn't my ideal board. This is me dealing with being contested by the entire lobby. Uh, no. Crap, I should have given AP to Rise. Okay, final fight. I'm definitely dead here, but I'm praying that one or two opponents die. Come on. 
I need either of these guys to die. Oh, I think they're facing each other, so I think it's a guaranteed fourth. Okay. Thank god. That was actually, like, so fucked. I just played whatever the game gave me, and four players contested me. So, thank god I get out of there with a fourth. Some games like that can't be helped. I, I would have loved to just, like, be free from them and, like, go play Xerath. But I couldn't hit one Xerath. The entire game I was looking for one. You, you like, you're throwing the game if you go 9 there, because in Prismatic Party, somebody's going to hit a strong board. In a high elo Prismatic Lobby, you can count on somebody to have a god board. And you'll know if you're the one with a god board, and I definitely know I'm not the one with a god board. Even if I go 9 and hit Xerath, I still just die to someone who has a god board. So sacking all your lives to go 9 is, like, a huge throw. So you, just, you definitely just, like, stay 8 and roll to try to, like, beat anyone who doesn't hit by having good charms and, like, whatever, like, pitiful upgrades you can find. So you just, like, sit there, roll. I didn't hit a single upgrade, but I did have charms, so I bled out to a fourth. Why are you drenching in sweat? Oh, I'm not. I, I just did a workout, so I showered. But yeah. It's crazy that you didn't hit a single upgrade for the longest time. I mean, I knew it was contested. That's why I rolled first. The only time... The only chance I had to hit an upgrade was at the very like beginning of my roll down, which was on 4-1, when I had a, like a large eco lead on the rest of the lobby. Once I didn't hit there, I knew it was fucked. Because like, I have four pairs of four costs, but all those four costs, there's like eight of them out of the pool at that point. If you didn't hit immediately, uh, when the pool was still available, like it's over. You saw like, I only eventually hit the rise after waiting for everybody to die. But like, you also can't just say, I'll just wait for them to die and then I'll roll. Because again, then you're trading all your HP. Like you just have to like keep rolling and try to get something. And it's just really sad we didn't. What did two star Emilio have changed anything? No, Emilio must have like fucked somebody's dad or something at Riot. Or fucked somebody's mom. Uh Emilio's like useless at two star. Emilio one, Emilio two, it's like the exact same thing. If you ever get Golden Quest, Melee is the worst unit you can get because he doesn't gain anything for being a two star. Whereas, like, Morgana or Camille or even Smolder, like, they all gain something huge. Uh, Melio gains, like, nothing. He gets, like, a little bit of bonus damage on his support ability, right? And you can see how, like, that doesn't do anything. His ability, the reason why you play him is because he prints items for your team. Uh, two star Melio does not print any more items, it definitely should. It, they, like, make him print support items and then do, like, a little bit of damage for some reason. So then the two-star Melio uh, does a little bit more damage and that's it. It's, like, pathetic. Whereas, like, Camille, Morgana, Briar, they all, like, double in power level. Whereas Melio goes, like, plus 20%. So, like, you don't even really hold Melio pairs. Hello, Roop. A loop. Thanks for the prime. I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Isn't Melio just a utility champion? I mean, utility champions can be useful. Like, I'll tell you exactly how you can make him useful. You can make him print one more item at two star. Right? You could give him a different effect instead of do like 100 damage. Right? It's maybe, maybe he prints items and he gives mana to nearby allies. And then at two star, he prints an extra item and gives additional mana. Right? Just like spitballing, I can already think of m multiple ideas that are better than what he currently does. Right now, if you ever look at the stats, you'll notice that every single item is like bad on Melio, which means that like you just aren't supposed to itemize Melio because he's that bad as a, a unit. He's just not worth your limited item budget. Hello, I remain. Thanks for the prime. But yeah, that's why you like that's why you never hold Melio pairs. You just like get the one star Melio for synergy and that's it. Anyway, I'm gonna play the ad break and I'll see you guys in a bit. No one played already reroll that game. I wonder if the B patch like scared people off. I feel like she's still good. But I haven't actually seen her in action yet. But I if I get an angle for her, I'm gonna play her. 
I, I gotta know for science. Is she still good? Didn't know I could do that. Eldritch opener. Ari. Uh, do I have enough money to hold both? Okay, I'm, I'm the only one who's holding Eldritch units, so I will continue holding the Eldritch. Hmm. Why so but I want to hold the Ari. I can sell maybe one Lilia. I have some pretty good units for both builds right now. Uh, Sweet Tooth, Gananunu. No, not in my spot. Spoils of War. I mean, it actually could be. I wonder if, like, Sweet Tooth with Ari Rule is, in is interesting. But I definitely have, like, a pretty good Eldritch Flex opener. Oh, speaking of flex, this was just nerfed, but like, I still believe it's strong. I'm down. Portal opener. Uh, okay. Okay, it's a shame I have to derail my immediate plans of playing Eldritch, but at least I like have two Zoe's. Yeah, I think even after the hotfix, um, Portal is still good, or uh, Flexible is still good. They changed it so that instead of giving you four emblems, it gives you three, which is a pretty big nerf to an augment, but also like, it was definitely broken. Our future will be bright. It was definitely really, really broken earlier. Who wants a piece of this? Isn't also less health? Oh, uh, it's the same amount of health. Well, I mean, you get one less emblem, so you get one less emblem's worth of health. Man, yeah, I feel like it was like an instant first place uh, before, and now it's like a lot more reasonable. But yeah, so like, I'm done with play. I still think it. Like, hopefully it fits into its identity of, like, a high skill, uh, augment. Where, like, it's kind of... Honestly, flexible should have an average placement of, like, 4.6 or 4.7. It should be an augment that's, like, kind of bad. Unless you, um, like, are really good at making it work. Oh, I think I lost. No. Oh, wait, the heal! Wait! Ari! What are you doing? Just stop standing there looking cute. Finish him off. Our future will be bright. Will you teach us dungeons when it launches? Yeah, I'll go over it. I'll give the whole presentation. Probably shouldn't let my Elise die early. Not a fan of playing off of glove. The only item that I feel like is actually desirable. Yeah, the only item I feel like is actually desirable off of a glove is TG. Uh, Steadfast Heart is like playable as a tank item and Guardbreaker is playable as a backline item, but neither are that great. You're never happy to slam them, it's just what you slam when you don't have anything else. Oh, well, thank you, Burp Pollock. Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a wonderful stream. Uh, I'm down to lose this and then get a spat on Carousel. Thank you for the gift subs earlier. Yes, thank you for participating in the boot camp. Alright, uh, need a glove or a spat. Uh, two gold spat, or two gold glove. 
three lost trick with 89 HP is so good. Uh, if I can five lost trick, I'd be really happy. I'm a little nervous. This guy's got portal crest. So I'm definitely getting contested. Although you should expect to get contested on portal. No, no Zoe. Um, I'm not gonna slam yet. Actually, no, I'm fairly certain I'm gonna lose. Okay, it sucks that I d hands and I didn't hit. I'm seeing on two big pairs. Can you still hit 10 portal contested? Yeah, I mean 10 portal only requires you to hit one of each unit. Uh, 10 portal is more of a luck draw of can you hit two spats and a spawn. Or hit two spats and go 10. That's the hard part. I should probably try to five blue streak here. Well, at least Zoe and Arya are both good at killing like one unit at a time, so yeah, I'll never take big losses. Going tennis so hard. I agree. Uh, for portal, it's like kind of possible because eight portal stabilizes quite hard. Okay, I need to make sure I lose this round. Uh, this guy will definitely kick my ass. This guy will also kick my ass. This guy, I'm worried he might grief. It will int my Zoe just to be safe. I saw him sell his units at the last second. Okay, if I can still kill two units, that's awesome. Okay, pretty efficient five loss streak, 81 HP. Like actually a very good loss streak. All right, um, computer, calculate the odds of hitting another portal spat. I don't think there's anything in the game code that prevents you from getting, uh, like, the two of the same emblem. How sick would that be if I just got two of the same? I, I would be happy if it just, like, was tangentially related. If it was, like, Witchcraft, Arcana, uh, Scholar, or Shapeshifter, I'd be happy. As long as, like, something that like, kind of fits on board. Just don't give me, like, Multi-Striker or Warrior. That'd actually be, like, kind of unplayable from this spot. All right. Imagine portal again. Oh, shapeshifter. Okay, that's that's pog. That's pog. The dragon nears. That's really good. I, I can portal shapeshifter is like so easy to play. Yeah, it's really easy to just go like eight portal, uh, four shapeshifter, or six shapeshifter, six portal. So let's go ahead and mark all the portals and the shapeshifters. Okay, honestly, not a bad loss. What is the best team to rank up easier with? Uh, I don't know. The B-patch just hit, so I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, Giant Might is always solid. Oh, new recruit could allow for, like, crazy synergies. 
Giant and Mighty is on average really high value. Let's see. New Recruit could allow for 10 portal. If I hit... I, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It allows for 10 portal. Uh, Giant and Mighty is like pretty good in general, but... And the worst case scenario, New Recruit allows me to hit like 6 Shapeshifter. Oh, I'm kind of silly. I, I just realized I don't actually have to level for that. Oh, well, hopefully I continue my lose streak. It was like, this is super efficient. I'm like losing, but killing most of the team every single round. So I'm getting like a very good three gold every round. But yeah, okay. Yeah, new recruit allows for like a lot of win out situations. So even though it's on average worse than Giant and Mighty, I'm kind of down. Was that a Jace 1 on my board or Jace 2? Still Jace 1, okay. Wait. Oh, right, right. The pair of Jaces on my board. Oh, I, I, I didn't want to win that. Is it always level 6 on 3-2? Uh, no, I, I would say it's usually level 6 on 3-2. I, I need to roll once here now that I won. Ooh, huge hit. Mm -hmm. I need to like one Galio. Crap. I, I think it's actually worth it to roll here. I already like started winning. What? What's going on? That's the second time in an hour. I mean, I'm in a fight, so I can't affect the outcome anymore, but imagine if I'm like rolling down and this happens. But yeah, okay. I think it's actually worth it for me to roll. I have almost zero gold. But like, the amount of power I gain from hitting one Nico or one Swain, or one Ari, or one Galio, or, you know, fuck it, a Ryze or a Taric, it's really high. I think I might as well commit and just like, uh, at least cement the win streak because I already started winning. I wonder what's going on. Does this happen to any of you guys? Like, the random crash out of nowhere? Update the graphics drivers. Okay. Oh my god, there's a Rise on Carousel. Oh, there's an Ari on Carousel as well. Okay, I want the Rise for sure, otherwise the Ari. Okay, at least... Uh, tier. Okay, I'm gonna roll a little bit until I hit Galio, Rise, Taric. Oh, all right, good roll down. Um, I have to sell someone. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to sell Ari. Sorry, Ari. Yeah, I am sorry, Ari. Do you wanna go seven? I would have four, I would have four gold. <laughs> if I went seven, I would have four gold. I mean, if I were on a five streak, I might actually have been down. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I I've definitely done that before on a five streak. Okay, six portal should be good. They nerfed three portal, so it makes the jump from three to six pretty good, even though six portal is still the same. Hello, Juni Cavi. Thanks for the six months. Wait, I really lost? Okay, I'm kind of surprised that I lost. And that kind of sucks because I can't make econ. Hmm. I definitely can't buy this polymorph. It's going to polymorph something useful. Okay. Uh, these dupes, one's going to be for Rise 2, and the other one's going to be like finish whatever uh, 2 cost, 3 cost, or 3 cost, 2 star. Okay. I think I'm down to just chill. Um, we all know like exactly what happens if I hit Portal Crest. 
Uh, I guess one issue is that I'm kind of low on HP. So even if I hit Portal Crest, I might die before I make it to 9. Because you have to go 9, and then you have to hit a Nora. So like, if you just like sack until you're at 1 life, and then go 9, and then you miss the Nora, you just die. So like, I think the correct play still involves stabilizing on 8. So tense. Relax. Okay. Uh. Wow, I'm so poor that I don't even think I'm gonna make it to. Wait, you have two rises on six, while forcing portal. How do you do it, man? Wait, actually, though, how do you do that? I even rolled on six. He's like level six fifty gold. <laughs> gotcha. All right, it's fine. Stop worrying about other people's high rolls. Play your own game. Alright, what do we got? Portal or Shapeshifter? Mage? Oh, that's actually good. That's actually good. I lend my aid. Uh, for now, Moe. And then I can do Mage Rise later. Uh, down to slap at Guardbreaker. Alright, and then next round, I'm just gonna level up and try to set up 8 Portal 1 stars. Wasn't Mage Mord broken? It's good, but Mage Rise is really good. It's so random. What's going on? Okay, I after this game, remind me to check if my graphics card drivers are out of date or something. At least it's like happening during inconsequential times. If it happened like during an important roll down and I lost for it, I'd be I'd be pissed. Originally, I thought it was like my tactics tools add on or, or the meta TFT add on, but uh, I don't actually think it is because um. My friends without uh, meta TFT told me that they have this issue as well. Alright. Oh, Rise is very contested. This guy just randomly has Rises. Alright, come on. Portal. Portal. Alright, little buddies. Oh, what the hell? That's kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think I have to dupe the Zoe so that I can sell, and then, and then dupe a. Uh... Always learning, always seeking. Despair. Something like that, and then. Okay, hitting Rise 2 on like 20 gold was actually really nuts. Okay, and then this, uh, this Tarek is 8 portal. Okay, that's actually crazy that I had like 20 gold and I somehow stabilized my board. Okay, uh, who do I need to drop here? Tarek. Swain. Okay. Um, yeah, we dropped the Swain because he's little, or he doesn't give little buddies value. And then, I guess I just... What I, what I want to do now is replace this Ezra with Nora, which allows you to swap out this Nami for, uh, like, a Briar. And that's, like, basically the end of the game. Okay, it's actually crazy that I hit two rises while he was contested. There was like four rises out of the pool. I have 20 gold, and I somehow hit two rises, and then just do. That's awesome. Uh, this is definitely a game where I can go nine now. Mage rise two on level eight with flexible. That's actually kind of crazy. It's kind of satisfying watching him ult twice in a row. Um, I need a source of shred. 
But yeah, normally I'll, I'll roll like a fuck ton for this kind of board. And it takes me like 100 gold. Little Buddies is a really good here because you're playing a vertical. So you have like a random Zoe who counts a Little Buddy, random Cassidy, and random Galio. Uh, if I end up playing like a two cost shapeshifter, they also count. Okay, I have a tier. Uh, best thing I can get here is definitely the Shiv. Oh, that's so huge. I'm gonna nut. I apologize for saying that I was going to nut. I, here at twitch.tv slash boxbox, I aspire to only tell you guys the truth, and I have never nutted in my life. I don't want to be that kind of bad influence on you and your kids. I would never. Anyway. Uh, yeah, if I hit a Nora, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna just put Nami in the middle. That way we can't low roll positioning. Okay, it's so crazy that we actually hit this. For once, we can actually just like say it's it's time to go nine. Wait, okay, so Nora over Ezreal. Then you try to find a Briar, and then you have one last spot for like whatever. Could be Diana, could be Kench. So Nora, Diana, or Kench as the last units. Is Ari Bastion's bad now? I don't think it is. I haven't seen anyone play it yet. Um, I think that people see it get nerfed and just like assume it's bad now. But like, I swear it's still good. Like, I, I saw how much they nerfed it, and I don't think it's enough to make it like unplayable. So if I get a spot for it, I'm definitely playing it. I just haven't gotten a spot for it yet. Uh, I'm down to roll for one charm, see what I get. All three cost champions. No. Uh, you could drop this Nasus right now for like that, for synergy, but I'm just gonna keep the Nasus. I don't want to sell the... Yeah, little buddy's value on, on portal is insane. Oh fuck. This is like a mirror matchup, holy shit. We are like exactly the same. Except you have a bunch of items and I have a bunch of spats. Oh my god. The portal gave a spark. Well, I guess I already had a shiv, so it didn't matter. Uh, I really hope I win this. It's actually very close. Oh fuck, it's so close. No! Oh my god. His rise had more AP because of the Archangels. Okay, I mean, not the end of the world. It's like minus like three gold for no streak and then minus one life. If I had my Nami here, I would have won. That's kind of my fault. I was lazy and I didn't reposition for every matchup. I should have recognized that he was the harder matchup because like this one, you, you want to be on the right side. The rise matchup, you want to be on the left side. It's rough. All right, well, anyway, just level up. Oh, uh, leveling up's gonna be kind of hard, actually. I, I definitely have to roll for a charm. Oh, and and a Galio too, for that matter. You're so funny, acting like magic hurts. Suffering is magic. Fire, fire. All right, roll once for charm. Nope. Uh, I have a shiv. I'm pretty sure. It's red buff, even though you have a Sunfire. Just for more coverage. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to not roll. If I if I only roll one time per round and take a charm, I should be able to go nine. This Akali 3 scares me, but it doesn't have Nyla 3 yet. It's gonna come down to like some fight RNG of if the Akali finds my rise. Oh, she didn't. Nice. Good fight, RNG. Time to reflect on what we have learned. Artifacting it has to be the biggest scam in the history of scams, maybe ever. Yeah, on average, it makes you weaker. You only buy it if you're like guaranteed dead and you're just gonna try to cheese that around with some crazy combo. There's like a couple situations where it's really good. And then most of the time it's really bad.
Okay, this guy, I want to be on the left, or on the right. This guy, I want to be on the left. And then this guy, I want to be on the left. This guy, I want to be on the right. It's pretty mixed. I'm just going to put Nami in the middle, see what happens. I really need a Galio too. I swear to God, Nami has broken as a support unit. I mean, her ult is amazing. She just doesn't do really any damage. Uh, she's really good with like mana items and like a Morello's. And then she just applies like debuffs to everybody. But like, yeah, that's the problem with mages. Besides Vagar 3, there's not really like a carry. That's why like a lot of people just play three mages. Just like Nami, Nora, Galio or something. And that's it. I think I can just like barely scrape nine next round. Yeah. Uh, if I sell most of my bench, I should be able to barely scrape 9. No, don't throw in the Zoe. Throw in anyone else. No, please throw in the tanks. Okay, nice, we got it. Alright, any chance of a portal spat? Portal spat's like an instant first place. Oh wait, uh-oh. The other portal player is uh, on the same rotation as me. Uh, I know exactly what I want here. This Briar is crazy. It's, it's my next in and it's a really good unit. Okay, can I make it to nine with like zero gold? If I can make it to nine zero gold, it's really good. It's gonna be close though, cause that charm cost me quite a bit. Uh, 16. I have to sell Nami, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth it. Okay, and then I will feed once. And I think that's it, because that's two lives. Oh, nice. Is I, I don't think I moved my Nami, right? Okay, nice. That's actually really good. Nami's on the correct side. Do you not get an emblem on stage 5? No, they, they just nerfed it. And, like, honestly, it's well-deserved. That thing was so broken. I already feel like 3 emblems and plus 75 HP my whole team is a really powerful benefit. No, dude, it's so close. It's actually so close. Fuck. It's always just like rise versus rise, and then because the fight's so long, his Archangels has more value. Um. Cup of tea? Fine by me. Okay, there we go. Now I have a way to handle that matchup. Also, I'm gonna feed one more time. Okay, so what can I do now? Uh, now you can drop Nami for uh, Diana, and I think that's the end of the game. Feeding one more is brave. I mean, stage six you can't take seventeen. Oh, well, you can if you lose like by six units, but I have confidence in my team. I think I am more likely to win a fight thanks to feeding Briar twice than I am to lose by six units. Right, like, if, if I thought my board could get, like, 10-0'd, I wouldn't do it. But, like, this fight, for example, might already be a feed diff. Actually, no, I kind of just kicked his ass anyway. Beauty 
and life. Okay. Oh wow, the the warrior player died. Oh wait. Am I about to get pot of gold? Oh, we are, okay. Uh, I'm about to get a lot of money. Which is actually huge. I can roll for all my upgrades. Um, I don't think it's enough to go 10, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna roll for two stars. Uh, if I hit one Ezreal, Magic coming at you. I can temporarily play this. Okay. I mean, this only is good for one round, but should still be nice. Yeah, 10 portal for one round. And then that should cover me while I go 10. Okay, at 10, uh, Nami can come back in with like a Vagar or Vex for Mage. Honestly, just like mark all the Mages just in case. And then, I, and then you get five Mages. It's not worth salvager. So the old magic may never be quenched. I think I'm quite ready for a new adventure. Doors to adventure. Need a mage. Uh, I wonder if I should just put Yumi on Nora now that she's two star. Okay, hopefully I win. It might actually be a Briar Feed diff. Come on. Go, go, Krug! Go, go, go! No! Ooh, I, honestly, I might as well feed. Okay, I need one mage or like a Diana. Oh. All right, and then in one roll, can I get a good charm? Who's <laughs> a good boy? I am. Okay, I'm pretty sure uh, Nora is better at this point. All right, my charm is summon a Warwick one. <laughs> I mean, who knows, maybe it's good enough. He got Earthquake, I get summon a Warwick one. Go dog, go! I mean, I'm level 10, like surely. Okay, nice. <laughs> Do you guys think it was a one Warwick diff? Yeah, I finally beat him. Holy shit. Guaranteed top two. Okay, now it's a rematch against the guy who beat me before. Play three. Okay. Nasus needs a third item. You know, I wonder if it was ever Pyro spat. Not really to like be a Pyro, but just because it gives my whole team 25 HP. Uh. Oh. Uh, no, I, I can't buy it. Just keep my current team. Just sell and pray for a charm. Damn it. Ah, oh, it doesn't do anything. Fuck! No combat charm on the final fight, dude. 
No combat charm on the final fight is so depressing. I mean, I barely had any money for it though. That, that's like, that's probably why I shouldn't have gone 10. At 10, I can make the synergies work out really well with five mage, but you're just like, it's so risky. Like maybe it's a five mage diff, but it also very well could have been just like a, I didn't get to roll for my Briar two. Man. Yeah, no, maybe 10 was better. Or uh, sorry, maybe nine and just like roll for everything was better. Cause then you could also have money to roll for charm. If I roll on nine, let me think. You'd easily hit Briar two, you'd easily hit Nami two. You wouldn't be able to play five mage though. Uh, you'd be stuck at four mage, so you'd probably just play a Diana. But it, it, it was probably better. Because I knew I was going to win that uh, 10 portal round and I could easily go 10. I was like, yeah, let's just do it. But then like 20 gold's not enough to roll for champions and uh, charm. I should have stayed nine. I should have stayed nine. I should have used all the money. It, it's only a difference of 10 LP, so it's not the end of the world. But next time I'm in that situation where I just like randomly have a fuck ton of money, 10's not it. 10's not it unless I have like 50 gold. Stop yapping. Is this yapping? I'm I'm going over what I did wrong so I can play better next time. If that's your idea of yapping, then you'll never improve. Oh yeah, I gotta check my drivers. Like what I'm doing is definitely not yapping. I'm sitting here talking about like what I did wrong and how I could have won that game next time. Was ever sack one and then go ten? No. It, it was definitely either go ten right there or it was roll it down. Oh yeah, hang on. Let me let me look at my drivers. My game keeps closing. Oh wait, no, this isn't it. G Force. Oh, there is a new driver. Is it gonna fuck my stream if I download this in the middle of my stream? But maybe this is why my game keeps crashing. I'm just gonna do it. Let's see what happens. Uh, guys. You might not feel so good. Let me know. You might die. Let's see what happens. Pause, champ. Everybody hold your breath. This might sting for a little bit. Unusual things might appear on the screen. Be prepared for anything, okay? It's updating. All right, are you guys ready? I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click the install button. I believe on these you, you can just click express and it's fine, right? All right, I'm just gonna click express and yeah, you might start seeing weird things appear. Random little glitchy artifacts of updating your drivers midstream. I think we're fine, actually. I mean, my stream hasn't crashed yet. All right, no, guys, what if I distract you? Let's play a quick mini game, okay? Let's play a quick mini game. Hello, sad panda. All right, guys, this is a cool website that I found from watching uh, one of my favorite speedrunners, Point Crow. 